Hello everyone, today's menu will be Mexican chicken stuffed shell. This goodness casserole is made with simple ingredients for a comforting meal that everyone will love. So if you're ready, let's get baking. You want to bring a large pot of water to a boil and when it's boiling you want to add in some salt. And then I'm just going to slowly um, drop in the pasta. And then you just want to cook this for about 8 to 10 minutes um, or until it's slightly undercooked. It will cook the rest of the way um, when it's in the oven. Make sure to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And here I have some chicken thighs that I'm just going to season it with some salt. Some black pepper. And some garlic powder. And I'm just seasoning them um, both sides. And if you want, you can go ahead and uh, buy rotisserie chicken and um, just shred it. We're just going to bake them for about 30 to 35 minutes. And then here I have an onion and I'm just going to chop it up. You can use as much onions as you like. And then here I have some pickles that I'm just going to um, roughly chop them up. If you can find um, a can or a jar that um, already had the pickle chopped up already, then you know that makes it easier. Or if you like, you can go ahead and just use some slice. In a medium bowl, I'm going to pour in the salsa. And this is picante. This is one of my favorite salsa. I'm just going to pour in the whole entire jar. And then to that, I'm going to add in the green um, enchilada sauce. Then you just want to give it a stir to combine. Okay, this looks good. And I'm just going to set this aside until ready to use. I transferred the chicken into a large bowl and then now I'm just going to shred it up. Um, you can use your hands, but I'm going to use a handheld mixture. Uh, it makes it so much quicker and I did leave the skin on too. Okay, now that it is shredded, um, as you can tell, it's not 100% shredded. You can still see, um, you know, some bigger chunks and all you do is just go in with your hands and just kind of you know shred them but if you like it how it is um, a little bit bigger then just leave it as is okay that looks good on medium heat on a nonstick skillet I'm gonna add in some oil and then I'm going to toss in my um, onions And then you just want to give it a stir and then you want to cook this for about two to three minutes or until it's softened. After it's softened, you want to add in your cream cheese and then you want to stir it around and break it up. And you want to cook this until it's melted. It takes about three to four minutes. And then once it's melted, you just want to give it a quick stir and then you want to add in your shredded chicken. And then you want to add in the pickled jalapenos and then also the taco seasoning. I do have recipe in the description box down below. And then for some heat, you can go ahead and add some cayenne pepper. And then just want to give it a toss and mix it around. And then you want to cook this for about two minutes and then turn off the heat. In my casserole dish, um, I'm going to pour in the salsa and enchilada sauce right onto the bottom of the casserole dish and I'm just going to even it out a little bit and then this is the fun part I'm gonna grab a shell and I'm gonna fill them 
um, you can fill as much as you like or as little as you like. It's up to you. And that's the size I'm going for. And then I'm just going to place it just right there. And if you like, you can add in some um, some more greens, like you know, green onions, if you prefer to. Okay, and then I'm just going to continue until there are no more meat mixture or any more shell, whichever one comes first. And this is the last one. So I'm just gonna place it right here. Okay, and then I'm going to um, pour in the remaining sauce all over the pasta. Okay. And then I'm going to top it off with some cheese. These are some shredded cheese and um, I did use mozzarella and um, cheddar cheese, but you can use whichever cheese that you like. I'm just going to pour all over the top. I love cheese, so I'm going to put a lot. Then I'm going to top it off with um, some more jalapeno pickles, just right on top. This is ready to go into the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the cheese is nice and bubbly and it's nice and cooked through. Here is the end result of the Mexican chicken stuffed shell. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. The measurements are in the description box down below. Don't forget to like share and subscribe. Bye!